Welcome to a one slide show from Bioscience O'Clock. Today we are talking about UV rays. All the way back in the 1660s, Sir Isaac Newton discovered the visible light spectrum by using a prism to decompose the sunlight into the colors of the rainbow. More than a hundred years later, in the year 1800, William Herschel asked himself if the heating power of sunlight was equally distributed among the different colored waves. To answer his question, he used a prism to decompose the sunlight and, over a series of experiments, placed thermometers underneath each color and left one thermometer in the shade as control. He realized that the violet light induced the lowest temperature increment compared to the control. The red light induced the highest temperature increment and the green fell somewhere in between the red and the violet temperatures. However, he noticed that the thermometer located beyond the red light registered the highest temperature of all. With this experiment, Herschel found not only that the heating power of the visible light is not equally distributed among the different colors, but he had also discovered infrared rays. Invisible light with greater heating power than the red rays, which were referred to as heat rays in the 19th century. One year later, in 1801, inspired by Herschel, Johann Ritter believed there were also invisible rays on the opposite end of the spectrum where Herschel had found the infrared rays. Inspired by the experiments from Carl Scheele, he used a piece of white paper and coated it with silver chloride. He knew from Scheele that under the sunlight, the paper will darken and that the strongest darkening occurred under the violet light. Ritter's experiment went one step further, and with the same setup, he realized that the darkening of the paper coated in silver chloride was more powerful beyond the violet light. And so, with this experiment, Ritter found invisible light beyond the violet spectrum, which he first called the oxidizing rays. These were later referred to as chemical rays for most of the 19th century, and today we call them ultraviolet rays. The sun is a source of energy that emits electromagnetic radiation that travels as waves. With our eyes, we are able to see a short range of those waves, which is what we call visible light. Beyond the red spectrum, we find infrared rays, and beyond the violet spectrum, we find ultraviolet rays, which can be UVA, UVB, and UVC rays. UVC rays are the most harmful of the three, but we don't hear as much about them because luckily, the ozone layer is able to absorb them. The ozone layer can only partially absorb UVB rays and only very few UVA rays. The UVB rays that do cross the ozone layer and reach us can penetrate the outer layer of our skin, the epidermis. The UVA rays can penetrate even deeper and reach the dermis. If you are interested in the relationship between UV rays and tanning, check our last video. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe, and until the next One Slide Show.